At first glance, this is a helicopter. Upon closer inspection, you'll note the probe extending off the nose of the aircraft. That probe is a vital tool in the hunt for ore deposits in northwestern BC. It's a part of Geoscience BC's search project. So what search can do is it can help find those other uh, Bruce Jack projects or perhaps other Red Chris projects. The help he is referring to is airborne high resolution magnetic imaging that is providing detailed information about the mineral deposits in the area. It's been a long time coming. This region saw its last publicly funded airborne survey in the 1960s. By answering those questions, the region believes it can and will attract significant investment in mining in the area. So using the new kind of technologies and techniques which we currently have available to us, and maybe the new algorithms which can look at that different uh, data differently and portray it differently, then it's certainly positive. Our program gives people the best information possible for making informed land use decisions, as well as maybe uh, the excitement of maybe some new discoveries along the way. And so what you're doing is basically reducing that risk for the investor, an individual who wants to come here and wants to come here to uh, northern British Columbia and make that investment. And when he talks about investment, he's talking about huge investment. The Bruce Jack mine alone has a $750 million U.S. startup cost. You know, there's somewhere in the order of 4 billion tons of material, which contains on the order of plus 125 million ounces of gold and some 20 plus billion pounds of copper. Quartermain says what we know is in the ground is only a fraction of what's there. Finding the next ore deposit without the benefit of the search program is highly improbable due to the challenging geography in the area. Mountains and coastal weather have left many of the region's mineral deposits undiscovered. Geoscience BC's Airborne Search Program will provide valuable and accurate information that anyone can use to understand and develop the resources in northwestern BC. But this is like the start, this is like the sunrise of awesome information that's going to give opportunity in the Northwest for another 60 plus years, maybe another 150 years. Hang on to your hats because BC is going to see some great mines developed here over the next uh, two, three, five years uh, and beyond.